Esther was an uncommonly empathetic person, particularly uh, for a teenager. She was just really loving and a um, really awesome sister to grow up with. Easy to be around. Yeah, easy to talk to. She had this weird way of being super bubbly and chatty and friendly and warm and welcoming while also being like way too wise for a person <laughs> of her age. And her legacy in, in my life is that she taught me that a short life can also be a good life and a rich life and a full life. And that was so important for me uh, to understand not only in my career as a writer, but also in the way that I, I treat people um, whom I meet who are living with, it, with illness or, or anyone I meet. It's, it's the, the journals of our daughter, uh, very sacred trust and to be able to present her voice to the world you know at least a portion of those diaries is a, a phenomenal gift i'm so excited about this star won't go out esther she was an exceptionally talented writer the one thing that is really difficult to teach in writing is voice and esther had a voice to her writing this book is giving her a chance to share her perspective uh, and it's also going to be like having a piece of my friend with me always. And it's a story of being ill and having cancer and how do you face life when you know that your life is terminal. But it's also the story of just being a kid and wanting to be normal and face you know, the obstacles that come in life. Her story inspires people on so many different levels and that makes us willing to share her story. I hope that it changes people for the better, um, or just makes them more aware of the things in their lives that are important to them. I hope that people um, read This Star Won't Go Out and learn more about Esther's message and um, hopefully a bit more about themselves. I think when people read This Star Won't Go Out, they will understand the experience of illness better, but I also think that they'll meet an exceptional young woman and that's one of the great pleasures of reading the book.